With pivot tables, you can apply filters to display subsets of your complete data table. You can also sort the data in either ascending or descending alphabetical or numeric order. Excel gives you two ways to accomplish both of these tasks. You can filter the pivot table report or the individual columns and rows. If you filter the data by pivot table report, you won't change the layout of the table itself, but you will change which portion of the data is displayed in the table. To use the report filter, click on the down arrow button labeled All at the top of the pivot table region. A dialog box appears containing a list of all the unique values contained in the report filter field. Since we designated the region field as the report filter, the dialog box contains a list of the four regions of the country. By default, the All box is checked, indicating that the pivot table will report summary data for all regions. But we can change that if we want. Let's just display the data for the Midwest. Click on the Midwest region in the list and then click OK. Your pivot table updates automatically. At the top, you can now see the report filter region is Midwest. You will also see now that the down arrow has changed to a cone-shaped icon, indicating that the data is currently being filtered. If you want to select more than one region, you can do that too. Click on the report filter button again and open the dialog box. At the bottom, check the box labeled select multiple items. Now you'll see checkboxes that allow you to choose any combination of categories. Click on Northeast to add it to the list and then click OK. Now you can see that the pivot table has been updated to show data for both the Midwest and Northeast. You can also filter the pivot table columns and rows to only show specific subsets of data. Click on the Row Filter button. A dialog box opens letting you choose which categories of the position field you want to display. Let's say we want to focus on operations and sales only. You can filter out the administrative and executive positions by deselecting those checkboxes. Then click OK. Now you can see that the pivot table updates to only show the data for operations and sales positions. You can filter the column fields in the same way. Before we move on, I'll remove the filter on the row fields and show all employee positions. I'll also remove the filter on the region to show data for all regions. You can also sort the rows and columns of a pivot table according to the field headings. The row fields are currently sorted in ascending alphabetical order. To reverse this, click again on the Row Filter button. At the top of the dialog box, click on Sort Z to A. You will see that the row field labels are now displayed in descending alphabetical order you can sort the columns in the same way. It's nice to sort fields alphabetically, but sometimes it's more useful to display the numeric data in the table from smallest to largest, or vice versa. To do that, click on the Row Filter button and choose the More Sort Options item from the menu. A new dialog box opens that allows you to choose either an ascending or descending sort according to either the position fields or the average salary field. Select descending sort and then select the average of salary. Now click OK. Excel will now sort the data according to the grand total column in descending order from largest average salary 
to smallest average salary. You can sort the table using the data in a specific row or column as well. Click on the row filter button and select the more sort options item again. Now click the more options button at the bottom of the dialog box. Now you can choose to sort the data by the grand totals for rows or by the data in a particular column. Click on the radio button labeled values in selected column Then select the data in the column for females from the table. Now click OK and then click OK again. You can see that the data in your pivot table has now been sorted in descending order of average salary for females. Now that you know how to filter and sort pivot table data, you can begin customizing tables for your specific needs. In the next video, you'll learn how to use a new feature in Excel 2010 called Slicers to make filtering pivot tables even easier. I'll see you there.